All right. Hey, everyone. <clears throat> well, how's it going, everyone? I'm just going to get set up here real quick and, um, and uh, let everyone come into the room. I just put up the live stream, so here we go. I'm going to put a microphone on here. And I do want to check to make sure that my audio is working properly. This should be on, so we should be good there. <clears throat> so um, if you're just joining me here, or if you're not watching the live stream, uh, thank you for watching this video. This is just going to be kind of an all-encompassing video about um, updates about my channel, where I've been, uh, things that we're looking forward to in the future. So um, if you guys are just joining us right, right now, thank you so much for, uh, for being here on this uh, quick live stream. Um, so um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'm going to answer any of your questions towards the end of this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my phone and just scroll through the comments and just answer any questions that you guys have. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll, we'll just get right started right now. Like I said, if you guys are watching live, thank you so much for being here. And um, if you guys are watching live, if you could just let me know if the uh, audio is working okay. I'm just going to take a quick peek at the, at the um, phone real quick to make sure that our audio is working. Let me just see here. Audio is good. Okay, thanks 250FPV and Mark Dibble. Awesome, thank you guys. I would hate to go through these uh, <coughs> live streams <clears throat> as I have in the past and realize that my mi microphone wasn't turned on. Excuse me for one second. <coughs> okay, guys. So if you've been following me on Facebook or whatnot, you guys will know that I actually went out this morning and I actually flew, which is a pretty awesome thing. I haven't been able to fly for months now. Um, it's I've gone in for like short flights here and there, but I really haven't been super excited about it. Haven't been motivated. So this morning I just got a wild hair uh, going. I'm like I want to fly uh, a big motor glider. So I have this 102 inch um, Phoenix Evolution. I got to fly it this morning. It was lovely. Uh, Kite Hill was nice. It just rained a little bit, and the sky is just uh, it, Kite Hill is really nice when it's um, kind of blustery up there. So. Had a great flight, great landing, had about 10 minute flight, it was, it was wonderful. So, trying to get the juices going and flowing again. Um, as you guys know, I haven't been flying a lot lately, and that is going to change in the future. So, my goals for the channel right now are going to be uh, going back to re doing regular reviews uh, for airplanes, cars, and quads. Um, not so much racing quads, I've kind of fallen out of, the, out, out of love with that. There's only so much... Um, flipping and spinning and uh, FPV and somebody turning on their, their channel that I can handle. Although I might get back to that at some point, I might find a love for it again because there's all the new firmwares and stuff like that. It seems like once you get out of mini quads and you are not on top of all the different firmwares that are out there, um, it's kind of hard to get back in to know all the new stuff that's out there. Because as you know, with the, in the mini quad world, after a month, your stuff is now old again. So. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I would also like to w welcome to my channel all the drift um, friends that I've made over the, the last couple of months and actually the last year. As you guys know, I've been doing a lot of drifting. Um, there's reasons for that that I have shied away from doing airplanes and quads and doing more drifting. One of the main things of that is that my local track, it's not so local to me, it's about 45 minutes away from my house, but my local track stays open until like 1 or 2 a.m. So it's one of those things that I can do without interfering with my family life, which is quite important to me, obviously. So, um, you know, I'm able to leave at 10 o'clock at night and go drift for a few hours, whereas if I go out and fly, it's, I have to do it kind of in the middle of the day where it interrupts my work or my family life on the weekends. You know, weekend time is my family time, so I try not to do too much RC unless my kids are involved or my wife is involved. So. So that's one reason why I've gravitated towards uh, cars, although I did do cars as um, I raced buggies back in my high school years, back in the 80s and 90s, right right around there. So um, <clears throat> so a lot of you guys might be wondering, like, why have I taken such a, a big break? Um, I, just um, statistics-wise, I have a, over 800 videos on YouTube right now, which is, just kind of blows my mind. I've been doing it for like four years, but... That basically equates to one new video every about 2.1 days or so, which is pretty crazy. So I was on a pretty crazy trajectory tra 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 trajectory uh, with um, making videos. I was, I was making a lot of content. And 
honestly, you can only sustain that for a little bit, little while. I mean, and if you, as soon as you get stresses, other stresses going coming in from either your work or your family or what have you, um, that your your video production definitely goes down. So. Um, um, we also had some family, uh, some death, uh, death in the family. As you, a lot of you guys know, my father passed away about a year ago. And that, even though my father and I were not super close, and I won't get too much into this, it actually affected me a lot more than I thought it would. So um, there's a little bit of that going on. So I think I've kind of gotten my head around it, and I'm kind of in a better place uh, with all that. So, um, And a, a lot of you guys that know me well have always uh, have sent me messages like, hey, sorry about your dad and stuff like that. It's been a year now, so you know I'm pretty, pretty good with it. But um, let's see here. So that's basically why, why I took the break. You know, I, I just needed a little bit of a break because I, you know, doing a channel like this, you get a lot of planes in, you get you get a lot of uh, product in, and it just becomes a little bit monotonous. Um, and if you have taken a look at the title of this video, uh, we are going to be doing a uh, RC swap meet up at the guy with the guys up at Kite Hill. Uh, me and uh, Scott are probably going to be doing uh, that pretty soon. That's going to be on November third. Um, so if you guys want to pick up some airplanes, um, I'm, a lot of my airplanes I'm going to be letting go for, for like probably about a quarter of their worth. So um, if you want to get a great airplane uh, for a lo little bit of money, I'm probably going to hang on to just a couple of airplanes, probably my FX-61, my uh, Hardcore 44 as a wing, and probably one scale uh, airplane, and I'll probably sell everything else that I have, which has got to be at least 10 or 15 airplanes. So if you guys want a good deal on an airplane, uh, I'll be making like a Facebook page for it and sharing it with everyone um, so, so that we can get uh, a lot of people at Kite Hill. It won't just be my airplanes, it'll be um, the whole community that's up there at, at Kite Hill. So it's going to be a swap meet, it's going to start at, at like 8 a.m. Uh, so a lot of guys are going to go up there, set up all of our airplanes for sale, for swap. Um, um, if you have cars, bring up your buggies, anything you really want to sell. That's in La the city of Laguna Niguel and it's at the top of Kite Hill, which is a little bit hard to find. Uh, on Google Maps because it's not really an official place. Um, so anyway, things are, are going good. Um, like my channel, I think I'm like 20 subscribers away from 8,000 right now, which kind of blows my mind. Uh, so thanks to all of you guys who are subscribed. I, I, I wouldn't be here without you guys. And even though I've taken a little bit of this break here, I hope you guys will stay with me and I can give you guys some, some great content in the future. I'm hoping to make my content a little bit more vloggy and a little bit more stylized rather than just Here's a product, and here's a couple cool shots of it, and here's me using it, and here's my uh, follow-up review. I like it to make it more into like more of a lifestyle channel rather than uh, more of just like here's a review, here's where you get it from. Um, more passion is what I wrote down here. Uh, so you know, just just like I'd like to get more into filming because really, I really have more of an artistic background than a lot of you guys uh, know. Um, so videos coming. Um, Oh, uh, let me also mention this, that um, if you guys don't know already, uh, go on to Facebook and look up the 7 Demo 7 Forums group. If you guys want to contribute to the conversation and see a lot of um, things that happen behind the scenes on my channel, a lot of my updates are, go onto the 7 Demo 7 Forums group. So if you guys haven't joined, uh, send me a, a friend request or send me a, a join request and I will uh, add you guys there. Um, it's going to be a good way for all the people that are involved with my channel with drifting and flying and quads to kind of get together. I want you guys to share your videos, uh, promote your YouTube channels, uh, place your uh, flying videos up there so you, that um, not just my channel gets more support, your channels get more support as well or anything that you want to promote um, RC wise. Um, yeah, and um, another cool thing that's happening is that um, apparently, um, Amazon, in all their wisdom, have decided that I am a uh, YouTube, uh, I'm a, um, a Amazon influencer, which means they probably know about my YouTube channel, and they gave me my own store. So that means that I can go in there and just pick out items that I've bought in the past or things that I want to buy, my, some of my camera equipment, uh, my Mavic Air. Uh, I basically can have a place where I have all the products that I've used or that I want to use or want to um, to check out. And if you guys go on to my um, my YouTube my my Amazon store, um, if you click on any of those links, it takes you into Amazon. Then I get credit for it. That's a way for you guys to help out my channel. Uh, the more help I get on my channel, the more uh, products that I get to come to come into my office. Um, I like to buy all the latest and greatest um, airplanes that are out there. 
um, so I can show those uh, to you guys and use my expertise and my experience and, and a review of the airplanes so that you guys will have kind of an insider view of, of what these products are like, uh, in my opinion. So uh, anyway, if you guys want to support my channel, I will be putting in the description of pretty much all of my videos a link to my Amazon store. Um, and you guys um, will be able to help me out without really helping me out. Let's say you want to buy a big screen TV, you click through one of my links and, and uh, you buy a big screen TV, and hey, I get credit for it. And, and um, you guys don't have to pay anything extra. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably you guys aren't going to be doing a big screen, screen TV. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm, um, I'm going to keep it kind of short here. Is there anything else? I've got my little list here. Anything else that I that I didn't mention here. So anyway, yeah, thanks guys for the, the subscriptions. That's really, really awesome. So I'm going to come over here real quickly and I'm just going to grab my phone off of the tripod here. If I can. All right. All right, guys. And let me just flip the camera around here. And, and we'll see if you have any questions. There might not be any questions, frankly. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, let's just take a quick peek here. Oh, there's a few comments here. All right, so audio is working. Daniel Garo says, cool. F, uh, 250 FTV gives me thumbs up. Audio is good, he says. Mark Dibble, audio is great, okay. Um, it's probably because I've got this uh, microphone off of Amazon for sixteen dollars. <laughs> Daniel Garrow says I got Daniel Garrow. Um, if you guys don't know, he I have a video with him on my YouTube channel where we did a long range flight and it didn't go as we, as planned. It was pretty exciting actually. Uh, he says I got a new long range uh, plane and an HD ground station. Right on, RC Aviation. Hey, he's over in Europe. He says hey everyone. Um, nice plane. Uh, thank you. I'm ready, ready to break my long range FP rec record, uh, says Darrow. 4K video says, whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mark Dibble says, I wouldn't know this channel if it wasn't for your mini drag. I ended up getting mine in part because of your long term review. It. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, it's a, um, I actually have a second mini drag, mini drag right there. Mark, I have a second mini drag that I'm going to be building and it's over there in a box. I haven't started on it yet. But I wanted to do a really, really special paint job on it. I was thinking about doing my uh, Sharpie art. Um, let me guys show you guys something. I don't know if I've ever showed this on the, on the channel before, but let me uh, come over here. Yeah, let me grab this helmet here. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I was really into downhill mountain biking. This is my downhill mountain biking helmet. And I painted this. Well, I actually didn't paint it, but let me show you guys this real quick. Um, so this is... Uh, so um, if, if, if you guys don't know, I'm also into like car, um, playing cards and whatnot, but this is basically a playing card themed um, mountain bike helmet that I painted white. It used to be gray. And uh, so this is the one I painted. Well, I actually, this is all Sharpie. So this is all complete Sharpie art here. So this is, uh, this is what I rocked uh, going up to Whistler and doing some crazy ass jumps. So anyway, this is, uh, I would like to do something like this, some type of theme with the mini drag. Anyway, um, that should be pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, Specialized Demo 7, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly, yeah, Mark, I actually never, uh, I, when I made my channel, I had, it had nothing to do with RC, so it's, it's kind of funny. Let's see here. Um, let's see, uh, okay, and um, I got my mini drag for the same reason, seven, Demo 7 should get a kickback. Um, and Lance, actually, um, because I did a bunch of stuff for, for Chris and you know, I did, I, my, my mini drag, I paid for it outright, you know, I didn't get any kickbacks from Chris or anything, but after I did a bunch of, um, videos with it, he actually did say, Hey dude, I'm going to send you a mini drag. And he, Chris is, is one of the best guys out there. So I, I was helping him promote the mini drag because when it first launched, it actually didn't take off as, as, uh, like hotcakes like it is now in the beginning and I really wanted to help out Chris because he's he's one of those guys that you know he works really hard he's an American company and I really wanted to support him uh, I like all the stuff he does I mean I, I see some of his, of his political posts and I we don't actually agree politically but you know we're still we're friends and he, he does a lot of great stuff for the community which I really like um, let's see I can already see the Amazon fire stick oh yeah the thing from from back, back here yeah I have that on my on my Amazon page too 
250 FPV says, thanks for the stream. I've seen your Basher Rockstar review, and that inspired me to get mine out again. And I'm, I'm now working on a custom one. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be putting my uh, 180 servo on that, which is really going to be uh, pretty cool. RC Aviation, love your sharp yard. Great effect. Thank you so much. And Mark says, yes, the 7 Demo 7, or the Specialized Demo 7. It's funny because I had a, seven, um, a Demo 8, and I typed that into for the names on YouTube, and um, it, the Demo 8 was taken, so it was uh, Demo 7. So I'm just like, well, I'll just put a 7 in front of it. And that it's kind of funny. I've thought about um, changing the name of my channel for a bunch of times, and everyone's like, no, 7 Demo 7 is unique, and nobody has it, so it's kind of cool. Straight Crazy RC, hey, hey dude, how's it going? Haven't been up to Cut Hill in a long time. Thanks. Uh, next time you're up there, uh, some evening. I'm normally there, um, Rob, in the morning time. So just to let you know, uh, we should we should do a new video. Says Dar uh, Daniel Garrow, definitely. Yeah, um, Mark. The uh, he says maybe the new mini drag will have the boom kit and the extended wings. That is exactly what I'm thinking about. So if you guys don't know, the mini drag um, has extended wings, so it takes it from like uh, 40 inches out to like 60 inches, something like that. Um, and it has um, a boom tail on it rather than just the short tail that it has on, which is pretty cool. Uh, Joel Jones, yo, hey, how's it going, dude? And uh, 250 FPV has the last comment. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining me. Um, like I said, um, my channel had to slow down for, for various reasons, and I'm, I'm glad that you guys are all here with me. It's really cool. Um, uh, I've been really blessed to have this YouTube channel and uh, um, having uh, getting close to 8,000 subscribers here, which, like I said, just blows my mind. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I'm going to end the live stream now. Um, thanks, for everyone, for your comments. I really, really appreciate you guys spending your morning with me. So, all right, Mark, we'll see you guys. Daniel, we'll see you guys. Uh, RC Aviation, um, all you guys. Uh, remember, on uh, if you guys happen to be local, um, November 3rd, we're going to be doing the, the swap meet. And it's not, not going to be just me. It's going to be all the guys up at Kite Hill that are going to be bringing their airplanes for sale. Um, like I said, my planes, I'm going to be selling them for, like, really cheap so I can get them um, off to you guys in the community um, so I can share. I know I've been very fortunate to get a lot of these planes uh, for free sometimes, <laughs> but a lot of them I bought as well. So anyway, guys, uh, you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for spending your morning with me. Bye-bye.